I think it's actually really cool because Squirtle, you know, he has like uh, lighter hits, so he can do light hits and then maybe switch in the jump animation, you can switch uh, Pokemon in this version. So then you can switch the Ivysaur, do a finishing move that way. And I think the really interesting thing is you have three sets of recoveries with uh, Pokemon Trainer because of you can doing it. You can do it while in the air. So I think that'll make you can you can use a uh, Ivysaur's Tether recovery. You can use Charizard's multiple jumps. You can use Squirtle, and he goes Pokemon Trainer. I choose you, uh, Ike versus Pokemon Trainer. Smash Ball on. So Vicky, with that Smash Ball being on, how does that change the strategy in a one v one? Well, as you notice, the Smash Ball doesn't usually appear in the beginning of a match, and more so in the middle of the match. So I know that Zero is going to be keeping his eye out for that, and Armada is going to want to try to take it over Zero before he tries to stun him. We talk about Armada has a very strong punish game, so he will look for holes in Zero, but Zero getting the nice grab into the side throw. Armada down below Zero at this point here, and Fish, it's one of these levels. We talked about Moray Towers. Hard to establish that neutral game consistently. For sure, for sure, but I think Ivysaur is a great choice in this kind of stage because the vines kind of go through uh, the platforms as well, and even the up air, the bulb kind of hits up the platform. But the really cool part about Ivysaur is how fast he KOs his opponents. That upper will get you at like even 100%, so you gotta really watch out for that. Bold Fighters finally on neutral ground. The punish by Armada right there after blocking the attack from Zero. Zero with the up air. That sends Armada selling to the side. And how about the fair that we just saw from Zero there, Vicky? Yeah, he's doing a really good job at keeping Armada off stage and unfortunately unable to make it back. You saw Armada uh, rolling a lot, and we've established already defensive play in this game is not rewarded, Jordan. It's more so aggressive play. Well put, aggressive play, and we see Armada go with the much faster Squirtle this time against Zero. Squirtle with the nice dash attack into the up air. That's going to send Zero sailing. Zero able to recover, though, nicely. And you look at Ike and those multitude of recovery options. That's going to really help out Zero as a heavier character, Vish. For sure, for sure. I, I really like the way that uh, these players are playing. They're using the whole stage. Uh, I, I kind of thought they would be e either in the center or whatnot, but they are just going all across the board. There's so many ledges that they have to edge guard. So that makes it quite harder, and I feel like that gives kind of a bit of an advantage to uh, Ike in the way he recovers because of the way the side B goes through the stage and then the up B goes so high up, but a little bit of positional advantage for him. Squirtle with the nice back air against Zero, unable to get on the neutral ground and make a punish there. Armada versus Zero. Armada down to two stocks. Zero still making the most of his third stock, but Armada, oh, and we see the weight of Zero and Ike really benefiting him right there, Vicky. Yeah, these ceilings are absolutely humongous, but there's a smash ball, and Armada knocking Zero out of the map and trying his best to try to get the smash ball, but Zero is not having it. Although he lost his stock, he still manages to get the smash ball and manage to land the Aether. Unbelievable turn of events right there as we see Zero getting the KO on Armada. Armada down to his final stock and fish. We thought Armada had a chance to get the KO against Zero and grab the Smash Ball during spawn. Wasn't able to do that. Yeah, I mean, that, that was kind of the flight of Squirtle, unfortunately. Not like a huge uh, amount of damage output in a quick amount of time unless you combo it. So Squirtle wasn't able to get the job done. And I just came through swinging and he destroyed my man Squirtle. Why you gotta do Squirtle like that, man? Couple of down tilts by Zero, unable to connect. Armada doing a great job of jumping from the lower level to the top level and connecting with a couple of those aerial attacks against Zero. That up air does a great job. Ivysaur and Armada trying to hang on with their final stock. And Vicky, once again, Zero doing a great job making the most of he can with his extra stock advantage. Notice the pressure that Zero is applying on Armada as Armada's trying to find his footing back below the platform of Zero. Uh, he's trying to figure out a way to not get pressured as often. Yeah, I mean, the sword just does such amount of damage and covers so much of the stage. I mean, the vines do a little bit, but again, Squirtle is not working out very well, and the vines only hit at, like, diagonal kind of trajectories. So just Ike's sword is putting in so much work right now. We see Zero and Ike trying to gain the upper ground on the ramps and try to get some of those down tilts. Forward air, not enough to send Ivysaur off the stage. Can he recover? No, the vine is too short. Needed a little bit more sunshine, water, and fertilizer to get that one to the edge of the stage. And we see Zero doing a great job of not only edge guarding, but getting the smash ball. It seemed like Vicky, that really turned the entire tide of this match. Although he had lost his stock in the moment where the smash ball appeared, he still managed to capture the smash ball. But around the end there, as you notice, the Ivysaur was unable to grab the ledge. Magnet hands isn't as significant in this game, Jordan. 